day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick and fun video to show you guys how to upgrade Linux Mint 20.2 UMA edition to Linux Mint 20.3 UNA, U-N-A edition there. So uh, this is, uh, well, full disclaimer to begin with, a few disclaimers. UNA isn't actually really out even as beta, so not all the packages are there. This is just purely for, for testing purposes. Now, um, uh, yeah, don't use it on your uh, your daily driver of a Linux machine at all, maybe a virtual machine, that sort of thing. But it is a nice little fun video to show you uh, what's going down. So I've already done this, and uh, I'll just give you a bit of a backstory to begin with, even though all the code is there to pause when you're ready to use and do so. But um, basically, uh, Linux Mint is comprised of two things. Uh, the, uh, the back end, which is based on Ubuntu, so Focal uh, Ubuntu, which is 20.04, and then the front end, with all the front end packages like you know Cinnamon and all that, uh, with the name that they actually call it for the release, release. so Una, in this case, is uh, the, the, I don't wanna say latest release, it's actually not officially out yet, and this methodology that I'm just about to show you only kind of just works anyway, so far. Now, uh, what we might do is, uh, I'll just jump into a, uh, a window and show you guys um, the, so yeah, I'm on Linux Mint 20.3. This is all kind of working there, yay, yay, yay. Uh, now, what you need to do is actually go to a, a terminal and type in the four following simple lines of code. So one, two, three, four. So the first one is same as the last, so really maybe only three lines of code. Uh, you pop in the, uh, the, the update and upgrade command just to have all your packages up to date. And then you wanna uh, do a really short piece of code to, to change the uh, information in the, the backend repository uh, file or config file there to change the sources list to point to the new version of Linux Mint. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Now I've already done this, but hey, I guess I might just do it for, uh, for your benefit there. So let's pretend I've already done the first one, which I already have. Moving on to the second one. Uh, throw in your password, hit enter. We won't actually show you that anything's happened. So just so you know there, it just didn't show anything happening, but it, it does, it certainly does. And then we'll do the same thing. It's a very similar piece of code. So this is actually really simple in a way. It does the same thing. And then you wanna do your sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, and there we go. So I did skip the first step for some reason, just cause did the second, did the third, did the fourth, and there you go. Updates, you know, reset, do whatever, have a bit of fun. Now there is a few bits of fun that I cannot do right now, like the uh, the desktop, the background. Uh, it's usually got its own specific version. So this one is, uh, it says that the Una desktop backgrounds are there, but yeah, no, they're not quite there. So this is again, I think it's a somewhat copying of some packages. Uh, Linux Mint, the team. They probably see have seen some of my videos like this in the past. They really like to keep things close to the chest until the actual release day, which they don't even really fully always specify. It could be December or January. It always comes out after Ubuntu, which came out in October time, uh, hence the release version in name. But uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, like I say, Linux Mint. They like to keep it close to the chest, and therefore that's why I create these videos to see if we can get some uh, unofficial alpha testing gurus out there just to have a look and feel of it. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.